everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house renovation video. Today I am renovating this house, Oak Grove Bungalow, which is one of the base game houses that came in the library with the Sims 3 but was not placed in Sunset Valley. And this here is the living room we just saw the outside. And yeah, so basically we're gonna uh, just look at the, some of the images here of how the house looked originally. So this is the original kitchen in the house um, with very nice black and white tile. And you know, then we're gonna check out the original bedroom as well. So this is the original uh, main bedroom in the house. So we have like kind of this fun little wallpaper with these little like decoration at the top and kind of an interesting bedspread. But yeah, we're gonna jump into the renovation now and uh, start working through this house. So this house originally was two bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms, and I end up making it a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom house. And that is um, not with much expansion done to the house. So this house actually was not too bad to renovate. Uh, I feel like it's kind of the more I have to change it, the obviously the more uh, kind of whack the house was to begin with. So this one um, actually was not, you know, I didn't have to change too much. It wasn't too crazy. So, you know, I kind of just kind of, you know, worked on uh, making it look a little bit nicer, but the overall shape of the house is very similar. The overall floor plan remains very similar as well. Um, so very minor changes here. The only addition I added to the house was that little balcony you can kind of see on the top there you can see that balcony right there I end up making that a bathroom so I just enclose it and yeah which I'm doing right here and that's it that's the only addition to this house so otherwise that oh well, actually I take away that bay window over on the right side there I um, keep keep like a bump out on the first floor but I get rid of it on the second floor so that kind of takes away a tiny bit of space but really that's all I do and I also changed the roof there a bit and I extended the front porch around the corner and I also built a garage, a detached garage at the back there, just because this lot is a 30 by 40, so it's a much larger lot than the house was originally built on. It was built on 20 by 30, and it was like super close to the street. You can see that front walkway there and how short it is, because that's where it would place, um, right, they would place that close to the street on a 20 by 30 lot, and it's just way too close to the street for my preference. So I put it on a larger lot so that it has a little bit more breathing room. Um, but and then I also, with this house, I had like a bit of an issue with the name of it, although it wasn't too much I could do with the house itself to make it fit the name. But um, I, t I talked about this with the last renovation video I did, which was Brownstone Beauty and how that house was not a brownstone, yet they called it a brownstone. Um, I mean, this is kind of being a little pedantic, but this house is called Oak Grove Bungalow, but it's not a bungalow. Um, so like I have the definition of bungalow here, which is a small house or cottage that is either single story or has a second story built into a sloping roof. And so, yeah, this house is um, not one story, and the second story is not built into a sloping roof. It's entirely um, standalone, like on top there. So it, it's not a bungalow, but they called it that anyway. I mean, it's not surprising um, after the brownstone house. But yeah, in this house, to make it actually a bungalow would require a lot of changes on the second floor to kind of build that under a roof. And so I wasn't about to do that because I wanted to keep I wanted to keep these houses as, as recognizable as possible. And um, so, yeah, I wasn't going to do that. But the name in this one is a little bit inaccurate as well. But, you know, it's not a bad name. Anyway, you can see what I've done thus far to the house is I changed the front door. It was originally a three wide front door, which felt disproportionate for this house. So I put a single wide front door in instead. I also put some larger windows on the first floor. I also replaced the two wide staircase with a single wide staircase so I could fit a fireplace in here. And I actually really like this fireplace because it's nice in the living room, but also I like the chimney coming straight out the center of the roof because it is largely a symmetrical house, um, and so it, I mean, the, the front porch is no longer symmetrical because I put it going around the side, but it still is, like, largely symmetrical house, so I feel like it's nice to have that, like, little chimney in the middle. It looks nice, um, so, yeah. Other floor plan changes, well, besides that little hallway changing because of the staircase and chimney, um, I ended up taking what was one bedroom on, on this side of the house and splitting it into two smaller bedrooms. So I kept the primary bedroom the same size, um, but the second bedroom was actually 
the, also the same size. Um, so I ended up splitting it up into two smaller bedrooms because there was enough room to do that. And then that way you have more hierarchy in terms of bedroom sizing. So like the main bedroom is now actually bigger than the other ones. And in this way, then you also have three bedrooms instead of just two, which I feel like is better for this kind of house. So yeah, that's what I ended up doing. And that bathroom there um, used to be a Jack and Jill bathroom that connected to both bedrooms, but now it's just a hallway bathroom. And then I enclosed that balcony, um, as you saw at the beginning, to make a second bathroom, which will be an ensuite for the uh, primary bedroom. Now on the outside, I changed the siding here because the original siding was just kind of ugly. Um, so I, I changed the, the pattern a little bit, like the wood texture and the color. But uh, I kept the top siding the same, actually. It's the same white um, shingles. I kept that the same, and I kept it the same with like the bottom being different than the top. Um, I guess one other main change on the outside is the color of the roof. I'm not a big fan of the, like, like the, um, uh, what do you call it, like the uh, um, default, like, red roof that you get. And that's what this house had. It had that, like, red tile roof, which I'm not the biggest fan of it. So I changed the roof, actually, to the yellow tile roof, which is... I don't, it's one I don't really use that much, but I think it suited this house. And here I'm just changing these columns, which were from the original house. I just um, recolored them, and I also removed the foundation from the front porch and instead just used floor tiles and had the columns go all the way to the ground, which is something I've done for a while now with my houses instead of using foundations for porches. And I don't know why, it just for some reason, it just looks better to me to have it like that. So that's what I, I've done with this house too, is I changed the front porch out. So it was actually the first thing I did is so it has, um, it has like the elevation off the ground, the columns go all, all the way to the ground. And um, I think it looks kind of nice. So yes, anyway, um, rehired all the columns, just getting in some exterior lighting here. So um, those are nice lights. I think they're from Island Paradise actually, but yeah, just recoloring those and putting them around um, various places and also changing out the back porch as well. Um, actually went to edit town there for a second. Um, yeah, the back porch was being weird though. It wouldn't let me place a two wide staircase right there. I don't know why. It, just everything I tried, it just refused. I tried constrained floor elevation as well. It wouldn't work. And I tried moving like every object nearby, like farther and farther away, and it still refused. So I gave in in the end and decided just to do um, a single staircase because it really just wouldn't do the, the one against the wall there but that's okay. So just a single staircase there and that's the little back porch. Anyway, now um, what's happening next? Oh, I added a couple more columns here because actually the front on the second floor overhangs by one tile over the first floor. And so I just wanted to have like a couple columns. I don't know, it's not really necessary, but I just wanted to do it. Anyway, getting a tree there and another tree there and another tree, no, nope, not yet, but just some trees for now and some bushes, I don't know. Um, I will do most of the landscaping at the end though. Um, anyway, also getting in a front walkway, so that's nice, um, and it's nice to have a larger front yard. I don't know why a lot of these houses were built really close to the front of the lot with, like, a huge backyard, and even, I mean, because this is a larger lot than the house is built on, so the backyard has a lot of space, um, enough for that garage and then lots of room beyond it as well. But anyway, now into the interior. So I tried to keep a decent amount from the original living room, um, although it is nice now to have this more distinct entrance area with the tile floor. And I also like the way the tile floor and the entrance kind of blends into the fireplace, um, kind of like under the fireplace there. And so that was kind of satisfying. So anyway, just recoloring that. Uh, so I put like a little wood trim there, so it looks kind of nice. And your Sims can step over that very small fence. And yeah, I also enclosed the dining room and kitchen. So it used to all be one room. It used to have the living room, dining room, kitchen. It was kind of, well, I mean, I say one room, but it really wasn't. It was just, there was no like archways. Um, so I, I added archways. So it looks a little bit nicer because I mean, the style of house does not need to be super open. Um, and so now the rooms have a little bit more distinct separation. Anyway, I kept the wallpaper. I just adjusted the color slightly. I made it a little bit lighter and I changed the wood tone on it and I um, also put this um, paneling here around the fireplace which I thought was kind of nice. Anyway, recoloring the stairs here as well and the railings and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yes, so that is what's happening right now, recoloring the fireplace as well. Um, and yeah, so I mean really the first floor, the main changes here were just that that fireplace coming in. And so doing a single stair staircase, single wide staircase instead of a double wide staircase. I enclosed the space behind the stairs to be a, a laundry room, and then I just added archways between the rooms, and that was really it. So, I mean, 
very simple like first floor layout um it's not really changed too much a lot of the change you know was just in the details and the furniture um and the colors and all that kind of stuff and making it look a little bit nicer and more refined obviously these houses are very um they're just very blank originally there's not really much going on inside these houses i mean you saw at the beginning of the video kind of a little preview of what the house looked like originally and also at the end there's going to be some screenshots of the house originally so you can kind of get an idea of what it looked like but I ended up keeping a lot of the same furniture, just recoloring it. So I kept the same couches. They had the same striped pattern as the walls did. So I didn't think that really made sense. So I ended up just making them a little bit nicer there and kind of just, it's like a very neutral room, which is nice. So it's, it's not anything too crazy, but I also like the built-in bookshelf I added there as well next to the fireplace. I thought that was a nice detail, but yeah. So right now I'm just putting in a nice rug there. I think I changed the color of it. And the bay window there behind the couch, I just um, squared off. I didn't, I got rid of the little diagonal corners on it. So it's kind of less of a, it's still a bay window, I guess, but kind of less so. So yeah. Um, oh yeah. Also this room has a nice little desk in it. I can't actually remember if the desk was there originally. I think it was, but there wasn't anything on it. So I put a computer on the desk so that, you know, it's now more usable and you, you know, your Sims can, you know, get some work done or whatever they need to do with the computer but yeah I think that's mostly it for this living room I actually put a record player in here which I thought was kind of fun you know a little retro why not so there you go and what else I think it's gonna be a plant naturally always a plant very good and maybe another plant yeah another plant in the corner so I think that's pretty much it though for this living room maybe a lamp I will see yep a lamp on that table a little bookshelf shifting over and just some small details, but I think that's mostly it for the living room. So yeah, the dining room, um, as it was originally, was very basic, just that dining table and chairs, and that was it. So yeah, I, I decided to add a bit more decoration to it. I went with this wallpaper that is like plaid, I, I guess it's plaid, like green. I thought it was kind of fun. I don't know. It's like a checkerboard sort of thing. And I went with a different kind of wallpaper trim than what was in the living room. So it has like a little bit of a different vibe to it. And yeah, here I'm putting in some different chairs to the table, but it's the same table. I just changed out the chairs because I thought that they looked a little odd before. I think they were like a really bright color, which was kind of strange. So yeah, I decided to go for something that was a little bit more subtle, match the walls. It's kind of nice. So yeah, um, and then we're just going to get in some details here. So nothing too crazy, just like nice uh, wall art and um, getting a rug in and yeah, you know, pretty simple stuff. Some plants, probably knowing me. So, you know, there you go. There's the plant. I always got a plant in the room. And oh man, look at those tiles, the tiles, those towels in the bathroom there. If you can see them, they're like neon blue and hot pink. Don't know why. And they're actually the same upstairs too, I think. So don't worry, that changes as well. But I think we'll get to the bathroom. Actually, don't know. Maybe the kitchen first, maybe the bathroom first. I can't quite remember, but we'll see. Anyway, I believe that's the dining room done. And so just getting a rug in the living room. So yeah, I guess we're gonna do the kitchen now. So the kitchen, I kept the same cabinets. I just recolored them so that they are a little bit nicer looking. Got some tile on the counters. And yeah, here I'm just repositioning things a little bit around. So I think the fridge and the stove, actually a lot of it stays kind of in a similar location as it was, but the kitchen's just enclosed now because um, I put a wall there with an archway. So it's not really that much less open, but it feels more of like a distinct room than it did before where it kind of like blended into the dining room, but it wasn't like open either because it's like, it was a quirky little corner that was connected. So I think this just makes more sense. Anyway, getting in the wallpaper in the kitchen as well. So it's just kind of like a nice matching tile to what's on the countertops. And here I'm keeping the black and white checkerboard, but just making it look a little bit better. It has kind of like a stone texture to it this way. And is a little bit less intense, so it looks a little bit nicer, a little bit more classy. And getting in some details and things, a little phone, a little food processor, some paper towels, um, a little soap dispenser, you know, just nice things to have. It makes it look a little bit more detailed. And like there's some stuff going on in here and also some window coverings as well, which is always nice. So yeah, and then also a light fixture as well. So a nice, a nicer light fixture. And then also a nice little mat on the floor. But I think that's mostly it for the kitchen. That came together actually very quickly. And so now we're going to move on to the powder room, which is in the same location as it was before. It's all pretty much the same sort of deal. I kept the tiles. I just recolored them. 
so that they're a little bit less kind of grody looking. Um, so yeah, I went with like green. It's like, it's like the same kind of colors, like this light beige and like minty green. It's not the most beautiful, but it was original. So to the house. So I just made it look a little bit better than it had been. So, but it's, it's like the same kind of vibe. I wanted to keep like a similar vibe. So yeah, I also recolored those towels, thankfully, and got window covering there, a little mat on the floor as well. So you have that little bit of detail. Um, and then I'm also going to get in a little cabinet in the corner. So that just adds a little bit more there, but that's it. And the last room in the first floor is this laundry room. So yeah, pretty simple. I just thought it's always good to have a laundry room. Obviously, none of these houses had laundry rooms because there was no laundry when the game was, when the base game was made, you know, because that came with ambitions. So obviously there's not going to be any laundry rooms in any of these houses, but I like to add them in, of course, because it's more realistic. So there you go, laundry. Anyway, that's the first floor. So now we're going to move on to the upstairs. So the um, landing is very similar, just um, has a single wide staircase instead of a double. And um, you have a chimney now coming up in the middle. But anyway, so that is that is the staircase area. Very simple. But now we're moving on to the upstairs bedrooms. So this bedroom is totally new because obviously I split what was there up into two. So yeah, this is a new bedroom. I and mean, these two bedrooms are very small. They're only four by four tiles. Um, this one especially looks small because I put a double bed in it. But I did that because I wanted this to kind of be more like a teen's room sort of thing. So I thought that, you know, I would add a bigger bed for them. And then I got in just some posters and stuff. I mean, obviously there's not too much that can be done in such a small room. So I tried my best to kind of add some details here on the walls, some posters and things. It was kind of like, like a reddish um, or more of a burnt orange, actually, kind of color scheme in here. I got like a fun bedspread, though. So that's kind of keeps that color scheme going. So it's kind of got this like, like this like dusty orange-ish kind of color. Um, and then what's going to go over here? I don't know yet. Plant, of course. Curtains on the windows that match the room a little bit. So, you know, and our poster there, a bit of artwork over there, you know, getting some things and stuff in here. And of course, a rug naturally. Always got to have a rug in pretty much every room. But yeah, so that is that bedroom, I think. We're going to do the closet, of course. I added closets to all the bedrooms in the house. Obviously, you know, without these closets, I could probably have gotten a little bit more room, at least in one of the bedrooms, you know. But I like to have the closets as a bit of detail. I think I think it's worth it because real houses have them. And so I think it just looks nice, even if they're just decorative. But anyway, there I'm just recoloring the little clothes rack. But that is that right there. So this bedroom here, I tried to keep a little bit more of the same color scheme that was in the original bedroom. So I kept the same walls. I just made the wood and the paint a little bit more refined. And I'm um, just getting clothes in the closet there. So yeah. This bedroom is like kind of a blue and beige kind of vibe. I I kept the blue kind of colors um, in here, like the turquoise kind of colors on the wall and on the bed, kind of bedding there. Um, and I went also for like kind of like a dusty pink as well. And here I'm just recoloring the furniture. Um, I, re I did replace the furniture because it was kind of not really, but not the best. Um, and yeah, there's a lamp there as well. And this is meant to be more of a kid's room as opposed to the other bedroom, which was kind of more of like for an older kid or a teen or something. So that was kind of the idea there. Um, so yeah, it's got a single bed in here, got a standing mirror. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, I put this like, this like pin board up, um, cork board, that's the word, with all those like photographs, which I thought was kind of fun. I also got this watermelon beanbag chair as well. So um, just refining the colors on that. And there you go. And then, yeah, just some small little toys and some little decoration in here. Um, something over the bed there as well, I believe. Yeah, a little horse riding picture over the bed. And then also a rug on the floor. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for that room. And so now for the original upstairs bathroom. I um, now actually have more room in here because there was only one door now, or there is only one door now, and there was three before. There was one to the hallway and then one to each of the bedrooms. And also an interesting fact about this house originally is that there was no shower. Um, the downstairs bathroom was just a, a toilet and a sink. And the upstairs bathroom was just a toilet, a sink, and a tub. And that was it. No shower. I don't understand why there would be no shower. That's like really bizarre. And also it is annoying because Sims take much longer in the bath than they do in the shower. So don't worry. Now there's two showers in this house as opposed to zero. So yeah, this bathroom has a shower now, but it's otherwise the same size, similar colors. I kept the blue on the, on the 
fixtures in here because why not? You know, got to keep the same same vibes. And as for the floor, I do change the floor, actually. The walls and floor I do change. Um, but I kept the same sink, toilet, and tub. So there's a little bit of continuity here, you know, a little something left over um, from the original. And here's adding a little bit of art there on the wall um, and different flooring, thankfully, because that black and white was a bit intense. So there you go. New gray floor tiles. And... Um, yeah, there's a mat on the floor. I mean, again, it's not supposed to be like when I say renovation, I'm kind of making the house uh, how I think it should have been originally and not like a new modern, you know, super fancy renovation. It's just kind of keeping it like an older house, but better done, um, which is what I usually do with these. Anyway, right now I am doing the bed uh, in the primary bedroom. So I change out the bed. I don't like those metal bed frames. I think it's kind of not the best looking. So I went with this nice one, which I think is from Seasons. And those um, nice... Um, bedside tables which I think are from Island Paradise so yeah and then um, I also changed out these walls which I don't know what was going on with those walls but anyway um, I changed them out for these ones just not with the striping or patterns or anything but they have, have this like a double wood band which is kind of interesting anyway um, getting in a painting there another painting over the um, or actually that's more like a photograph I guess over the bed and, you know, just going in for some decoration stuff. But this is a pretty big room. And actually, the other bedroom is the same size on the other side of the house. So, yeah, the bedrooms were very big originally. Not really needed to have such big rooms in a house of this size. But, I mean, for this room, it's nice. So, um, yeah, and I was able to keep this bedroom the same size, actually, because I, I added the bathroom onto what was a balcony. So I didn't have to, like, take up space from this bedroom to make it a bathroom. But... Yeah, and this bedroom also goes all the way from the front of the house to the back. So you get like the view from the front windows and the back windows, actually, which is kind of interesting. Um, I also added a side window in there as well, so I can get a little bit more light. Um, but yeah, so, oh yeah, here's where I recolor the living room rugs and stuff. I thought that they were a little bit too dark. I was going to make them more reddish, but I decided not to. Anyway, this is the bedroom carpet right now. I'm recoloring it to match the bedding. And yeah, so I think that's pretty much it though for this bedroom. Pretty simple. Um, I also, of course, is a closet now, which I added in. So it's always good to have. I like to add those. So it's recoloring that. And now we're gonna do the bathroom. So yeah, this bathroom was just a balcony before, but the same exact size. It already had a roof over it too. So, um, you know, that was convenient. <laughs> um, it doesn't change the look of the house too much. So yeah, I'm just, you know, adding in bathroom things in here. This is a little bit bigger than the other bathroom on this floor. And it has a um, separate tub and shower as well, and also two sinks, so it makes it kind of fancier. Um, not fancier in the sense that it's not dated, it's still dated, but um, it's a bigger bathroom with the two sinks, so that's nice. And um, I actually kind of got black and white tiles in here, but it's a little bit less intense with the smaller tiles, so, but you know, kind of connects it back to how the original house had all these black and white tiles. And yeah, there's some little um, towels and details in here, you know, the towels, toilet paper all those things and stuff and, you know, all that good stuff. Curtains in here, lights, and a little rug on the floor. So there you go. That's pretty much it, I believe, for the inside, which is actually went by very quickly. Like I said at the beginning, this house didn't require, like, a huge change and all that kind of stuff. Like, some of the other ones were just, like, really, really needed a lot done. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to do a bit more with the yard on this house because there was such a big space left over because I put it on a larger lot. And so... Obviously, the garage is part of that, but also I I put in a garden as well. There's also like this little patio here, so this is like kind of immediately off of that little back door. So you have like um, that chair that or a bench, I guess that was from the balcony original balcony in the house. So that's there, and then also a small dining table, and I also put a fire pit out beyond the garage here. But yeah, there's lots of room in the backyard. Actually, you can kind of tell um, it goes well beyond that garage. So you really you could put a lot more in the backyard of this house as well if you want. Um, yeah, there's lots of room. And right now I'm just doing some small little tweaks and stuff, but I think we're going to get to um, the garden pretty soon. Also got a grill and an umbrella as well, so that adds a bit of nice detail there. So yeah, here I added this little garden, recoloring the fence right now, and now I'm going to um, put in some little garden plants. I got lots of things in here. I think there's apples and limes and lettuce and potato and oh, what else did I do peppers I think and there's something else maybe garlic I don't know so yeah lots of little plants in here and stuff so that's nice um and yeah your sims of course can 
you know, harvest these items if they move into this house, so that's fun. Um, I actually don't do gardens too much, so I thought it'd be fun to add one in here. So there you go. Um, there's also like a little fire pit there, just out beyond the garage. Um, and then I'm going to do the garage now, I believe, which is obviously always pretty simple. So I'm just, you know, adding some interior um, wall textures, little blinds on the windows, and then the fast lane stuff I always use. So you got like the tools and the little workbench and another little set of drawers over there. And then just all that kind of stuff, basically. And just adding in the mailbox and the trash can. I also got in a little recycling bin as well, which took me a moment to find, but there it is. And yeah, I mean, really all that's left at this point is the landscaping. So, you know, obviously I get all that in. I actually extended the driveway a little bit. Um, so there's like some room to park another car or I guess turn around a car or something. And I also put a fence in too, just because it doesn't really do much, but it's there. So, you know, a bit of detail, I guess. And then, you know, lots of plants to put around the house, of course. Got to, you know, add some landscaping in here, get some trees in here. I use some of the same trees that were kind of surrounding the lot in Sunset Valley, so it kind of blends in. And then just lots of different plants and stuff around the house. So, yeah, um, got to make it look nice and detailed and all that kind of good stuff. But um, there is a download link in the description below if you want to download this house. So you can do that and add this to your game if you wish. Um, and... Yeah, of course, if you enjoy this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. I post uh, lots of videos like this on my channel, so if you're interested, you can check out some of the other um, videos I've done of renovating these houses from the base game library. And of course, I'm going to continue doing more. This is only the fifth one. I believe there's 15 total, so there's definitely some more to go. Um, and yeah, as always, I love to hear your feedback in the comments below. And so we're basically just doing a few small little details or some screenshots coming up in a few seconds that will show you the before um, I did the renovation and then of course the final result after the renovation so you can kind of see the difference um, in a little more, you know, detail, less sped up and all that kind of stuff. But I'm also getting in a little front porch um, with like the little rug there, some rocking chairs, you know, just to make it look a little bit more detailed and like there's a purpose to having the front porch. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you have, um, you know, a really nice day. And as always, I hope to see you in my next video. So yeah, enjoy the screenshots. <laughs>